Greetings, this is Timon Green, and I'm back to present a, another video. And this video, I'm going to demonstrate the QuickBooks Online tax mapping. Now, in a prior video, and I have attached that video to the description section, I showed you how to set up QuickBooks Online for tax line mapping. So what I'm going to do in this video is show you the tax line mapping from the chart of accounts level. Now I will be doing another video specifically on the chart of accounts to familiarize everyone with what the chart of accounts actually is and what it does. But for now, I'm just going to use the chart of accounts for the tax line purposes. Now I'm also using the QuickBooks Online Accountant Edition. So within the QuickBooks Online Accounting Edition, you have the tax line mapping features. So in the prior video, I showed you how to link the tax form with the associated business. Now, once you have linked the tax form to the associated business, it's good to go into the chart of accounts to make sure that you connect the proper account type. Now, when you go to the chart of accounts, you would click on accounting and chart of accounts, and that'll take you directly to the chart of accounts. Now, the important thing to note with the mapping is the account type. So this is where we can specify if an account is an asset, liability, owner's equity, revenue, or expense. Now, depending on the tax form that your business is going to be mapping, you know that Schedule C reports revenue and expenses. Well, all of the tax forms rather report revenue or expenses. So the account type is important for the mapping to work. So in this particular example, we associated this business with Form 1120S for S corps. Now, when we go into the chart of accounts, we look at the type and we see that anything that involves income and expenses are going to be mapped to that particular form. So let's say we were setting up a new account and we want to call this royalty income. So we would click on the new button in the chart of accounts. And so now here in the account type, we can specify what type of account it is. So we would say that this is an income account. So we know that on our tax form is going to be mapped to the income line. And then the detail type would be service fee income because that's what it is. And then over in name, we can call this royalties income. All right. So we can say royalties income so now when we click on save and close that is added to our chart of accounts and we see that it's income so we know that it's going to be reported on the income section of the tax form now in the accountant edition you can go and see how the mappings are for your business and for your clients so if you want to see the mappings, we can click on this briefcase. And what I really like about this briefcase is we can prep this for taxes. But if we scroll all the way down, we can also streamline the information from QuickBooks Online into the tax software. So in other words, when we click on this Pro Connect Tax Online, the tax software is going to go right into QuickBooks online and based off of the mappings is going to take the information and put it on the proper 
lines. So that's what I mean by streamlining. That's how it's effective. Because if you set up the account types right in the chart of accounts, when you click this button, everything that's in QBO is going to be mapped to the proper tax form. But when we look at prep for taxes, we can see that if we want to go and see what our information looks like that's going to be on our tax form, we can choose the tax year. Well, 2009 is not put on here yet, but we can choose the tax year. We can go through our profit and loss and our balance sheet to make sure that everything is mapped in the proper place. But when we click on the tax mapping option, we see that the form that we established in the prior video is the form that's going to be mapped directly to the tax software. So when we go down and we look at the tax lines, the accounts and the map, this over here is going to show you what tax line everything is actually mapped to and the accounts and the amount. So now when we go over to our tax software and we click that, because we see the prep, everything is going to be mapped. I didn't mean to click that because <laughs> I have another video that I'm going to show you the tax software side. But as you can see, when we mapped everything in the chart of accounts, everything flows over here to prep for taxes. Your accountant can go and review everything that's in the balance sheet in the profit and loss. And when we click on the tax mapping, QuickBooks is going to tell us what tax line all of this goes on, what the accounts and what's the amounts to expect. So if you have an accountant user that's associated with your QuickBooks online company, this is what they'll be doing for tax time. They'll review and adjust whatever they need to. They'll see the tax mappings, make sure everything is in the right place. And then if they use ProConnect Tax Online, they click that thing and get everything from QuickBooks Online over to the tax preparation software. That's the streamlining that makes this effective. And so I will be doing another video shortly, giving you a demonstration of how all of this looks. But I just wanted to give you a visual of how the tax streaming work. So please subscribe to this channel. Please share this information. This is very, very useful information. And once again, this is Timon Green. My business name is Thailand Bookkeeping Systems, where I specialize in doing things just like this for small business owners, streamlining QuickBooks online for effectiveness and efficiency. And I also teach my own courses on my virtual platform through the Green Business School, Green Business Center. I have all of those links enclosed. So I hope you are able to see in this brief demonstration how the streamlining process works. So until the next video, I want everybody to take heed to everything that I've talked about. Share it, learn something, and let's prepare 2019 taxes efficiently. All right. All right.